In this video, we'll be finding the volume of composite figures. If you take a look at this figure, volume is the amount of space inside of a figure. And this particular one is made up of more than one rectangular prism. That's why it's considered composite. But if you take a look at it, you can see how I took this figure and I broke it up into two different prisms. Look at the dash segment of this L-shaped figure and just imagine slicing this figure along the dashed line to make two rectangular prisms, which I have here, right here. We took this one composite figure and we decompose it into two rectangular figures, but we have to find out what the dimensions of prism A and the dimensions of prism B are, okay? If you take a look at prism A, which represents this portion, the height here is going to be 30 centimeters. We already know that. The nine here represents nine here, which represents nine here. So this is going to be nine centimeters wide. I just transferred those dimensions over because opposite side lengths are equivalent. And then we need to figure out how deep it goes. So here, if this figure here is 10 centimeters, we could transfer that up to this being centimeters. This part is 10 centimeters, so the depth is going to be 10 centimeters. Let's do the same thing for composite figure B. Looking at composite figure B, it represents this portion, this prism here. Now, remember it was originally 30 centimeters, but we know that this portion came out to nine centimeters because when we transfer those numbers over, the opposite sides are equivalent. So in order to find out this portion, I would do 30 centimeters minus nine centimeters. And this would tell me that this section here is 21 centimeters. The other dimension should be on here straight forward. This one is 10 centimeters. And then the height is going to be 20 centimeters. Now that we have the dimensions, we need to figure out how can we find the volume of each of these rectangular prisms. There's formulas that you can use. Volume is equal to length times width times height or volume is the same as base area times height, okay? Base area is the amount of area if you have your prism. It's the amount of area on the base times the height. That's what base area is. Or you can just use length time with time height. So let's do prism A first. Volume is length times width times height. Volume is the same as, um, in this case, it will be nine times 10 times 30. And nine times 10 is 90. And 90 times 30, the volume is 27 or 2,700 cubic centimeters. Okay, that's for prism A. Now let's do the same thing. Uh, for prism B. Remember, we are trying to find the volume, okay, of this composite figure. So prism B, we're going to use the same formula. Volume is length times width times height. Volume is 20 centimeters. Um, it was actually 21. So 20 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 21 centimeters. All right. Volume is the same as 20 times 10 is 200, and 200 times 21 is 4,200 cubic centimeters. Okay, now we have the volume of prism A and we have the volume of prism B, but the ultimate goal is to find the volume of this entire composite area. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer these numbers over. So prism A um, came out to 2,700 cubic centimeters. And then prism B came out to 4,200 cubic centimeters. Now, in order to find the volume of this L-shaped prism, we need to make sure that we take the two volumes of the prisms and add them up. So 
So in the volume of this entire composite figure is going to be 6,900 cubic centimeters. In this video, you all, we found the volume of composite figures.